Hey, I'm Tyler. I've had a lot of people message me on Reddit asking me to do a tutorial or to do tabs for Closer by the Chainsmokers, which I put a video up uh, of me playing. So I'm not going to do tabs because that would be a lot of work and doing a tutorial is not going to take that long, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, but when I teach it, um, I'm not going to teach everything that I do because a lot of it's just kind of improvised or um, just kind of comes naturally but I will teach what's kind of going on in my head when I'm playing as far as what chords I'm playing and the melody on top of it. That way you can use that for also any other song you want to play. That way this tutorial is not just for this song, but also for, you know, um, yeah, anything you can think of. Anyway, to start, um, my banjo is tuned to B, open B, which is B flat, or no, sorry, B, F, sharp, B, no, no, F sharp, B, F sharp, B, E flat. There we go. And um, yeah, so if you have your banjo tuned to open C, that's fine. Um, there's actually an extension you can use on Google Chrome, which lets you change the, the key of a YouTube video. And I use that a lot for when I'm trying to figure out a song if I can't quite just hear the melody. Um, or you can just copy me on your open C banjo. Or, of course, you can tune down to where I'm at, and either one of those is fine. Up to you. So, um, to get started, um, when I play this song or any other song, I think of the chords mostly in terms of number, right? Which, if you, you know, have some basic music theory knowledge, you can break down a scale into chords, and those chords, based on the scale, um, and based on the number that they fall on, will determine if they're major or minor or whatever. So, um, the four chord right? That's what we start off with in this song. And in the key of B, that is E, right? And the way you play E in this tuning is, or the way I do, is to, um, fretting here and fretting here, right? The fifth fret, which gives you a nice open sounding chord. You can also play it fretting the entire fifth fret, or you can play it like the first like the top half of a C chord on guitar, like that. So, I'm going to play it like this, four chord. Next comes one, easy, not just nothing. And then next comes the six chord, which you only fret the second string, or the second fret, on the third string, the middle string, which gives you that, a nice minor chord, six minor. And then the last one, Five, which is major, which in the key of B is F sharp. So you have four, one, six, five. And the five I didn't say, sorry, is the second fret on the, going this way, the second string, which is the B for me. Actually, on both Bs, you just do the second fret. So there you go. Um, the melody on top of it, I just listened to it and figured it out by ear, is just... this together and all I'm doing there is I'm playing the chord usually with um, my pinky or my um, my ring finger or my pointer finger depending on just where the chord falls and then on top of it I'm trying to just fit the melody in with whatever fingers I have left um, now throwing that in with the claw hammer I'm not gonna teach exactly how I do it, but yeah, you just have to feel where the melody notes fall in your pattern, and then that's going to determine whether you play it with your, um, yeah, these fingers coming down the one, or if you're going to play it with your thumb, doing a drop thumb, like that. So when, you, when, I, when I play it, I'll play it slow, that way you can hopefully see when I'm playing what. But mostly it's just a feel, um, which comes from practicing um, the claw hammer. So. And there were also some hammer-ons and pull-offs there, which hopefully you could see me do. Um, next is the pre-chorus, which is, um, 
Yep, yeah, the and I break your heart. So that's the four, one, six, five. Just the same. But love breaks your heart, move this in a broken car on. Just the zero fret open string and the second of your high B string. So four starting. The chords in that are four, five, six, five. And the melody is. And then just repeated. So. Then finally, the chorus which the melody is very easy. It's just the first, second, and third notes in the scale and, you know, the order that they come in in the song, so. And one thing to note, the third note here, a lot of the times I will play instead on the open E flat string, the the string. So like that. Anyway, um, the chords are one, and then I don't play the chords in the actual song. I thought this sounded better. I play one, and then I play a major seven, like the one major seven, which takes the root note and you drop it down a half step. So one, one major seven. And then I'll play the six, which I already went over. And then I play the five. So it goes like this. repeat that until you're done. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that explains it. If not, then of course leave a comment and I'll try to address any questions that there are and maybe I can um, make a clarifying video. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it um, and good luck.